of Lauren. Uh, now, if you all did not recognize any of those names, I brought in some muscle from New York. The Italians in the corner, they will escort you out for any wedding crashes. I just watched the movie for inspiration last night. Um, uh, experts say the speech of the father of the bride should be personal and heartfelt. It should also be short, but they didn't say what short means. Um, any of you who know me occasionally, I can get rather wordy. Um, but then I went to one of my favorite people of the past. Abraham Lincoln's Gettysburg Address is only. <laughs> Come on, hold that honestly. His Gettysburg Address was only 10 sentences long. Abraham Lincoln said that his wedding, wedding vows were far more important than those <laughs> things. Were far more important than those 10 sentences when he gets for the dress. I'd like to thank all of you for taking part in Sister Jack and Warren preparing and planning and carrying out this beautiful day. Mother Nature for her venue. Jack's wonderful family, Nancy, Damon, the parents of the groom, Grandpa Rita, Grandma Rita, excuse me, and Grandpa Jack, <laughs> Deborah's mother, Lauren, what? Lisa, <laughs> and all the incredible stunning bridesmaids, and the handsome and highly above average grooms. <laughs> Colleen, Lauren, Nate, Lauren's maid of honor, Nate, Jack's best man, and twin brother. <laughs> then to celebrate Ted and his wife, Linda, all honored guests from near and far. Again, a heartfelt thank you. This is very emotional. Thank you. Bear with me during the memorable emotional pauses. From day one, this young woman, you see before you, And she had a 
fracture marrow up. <laughs> we settled the malpractice suit out of court. <laughs> um, but the critical part with the fracture was it was her right, her right hand, and Lauren was a thumb sucker. If any of you have ever been, or your children will be thumb suckers, you realize that your child can't sleep or exist if they cannot suck their thumb. <laughs> so Lauren was stuck with her arm in a cast out here. <laughs> so no way it could get to her mouth. So over the weeks going forward, Lauren evidently worked and worked and worked so that her cast would go. <laughs> Essentially, there was no cast. She wouldn't, let, she wouldn't let me take it off, however, Dr. Art had to take it off. I'd already screwed things up once. <laughs> the next story was uh, Lauren was playing soccer. And so she, she seems a frail young thing. However, she's pretty tough. Um, I played for a long time. I coached for a long time. I doctored for a long time. And I usually knew when someone was hurt playing soccer or not. And someone came up and kicked the ball in a game and hit her in the stomach, point blank range, really hard. She doubled up, she hit the floor, the ground. And I looked, I tried not to run on the field, I knew she was probably hurt. And then she got up, started smiling and laughing. <laughs> the next event <laughs> was on a sport court at a friend's house playing hockey with a number of boys. Lauren was a field hockey player. She loved to play. So she, none of the girls would play, but they needed an extra player, so Lauren went in and played. And evidently, she again got knocked to the ground by boys playing hockey, which they played rather roughly. And I believe it was Tyler in the back there who <laughs> <laughs> said to the boys who were picking her up, don't pick her up. That's O'Neill. Don't pick her up. <laughs> She'll be just fine. Lessons to be learned, Jack. Lauren says she hurts. She's not just looking for attention. She's a tough lady. Listen to her patiently and attentively. Lauren follows the rules almost all the time. She left the cast on her arm, but it wasn't really a cast. When she was <laughs> Lauren will find a way to get what she wishes for working within the rules, mostly. She did keep the cast on. Jack, a father's program regarding what he thinks is best for his daughter. Between the father's head and his heart, a battle wages. Father wants his daughter to marry a good man. The emotional versus the rational discussions rages internally between his heart and his brain. The father's perspective on a good man comes about by comparing every man to himself. Who else is a better example of a good man? <laughs> As the most reliable example of a good man that he knows, he begins. Is he athletic? Yes, Jack's athletic. Is he intelligent? <laughs> is he intelligent? Yes, he is. He's bilingual. He majored in political science. He's very good at debate. Is he a critical thinker? Jack is a critical thinker. Does he have a good sense of humor? He's going to have to have a good sense of humor. <laughs> Will he be a good provider for Lord and a family? What are his political leaders? Who are his favorite teams? Especially not a University of Michigan fan. <laughs> that would be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> when I went down this list, my hippy dippy self said, Oh, oh, oh. Love, love, love. All you need is love. Uh, love. And so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said, well, that's a 
that's not really the answer. A hippie dippy self said to me, the only important thing is love. Is we really out there now? And, and my hippie dippy, my hippie dippy self said to me, Gene, for Lauren, the good man for Lauren is the man who loves your daughter as much as you live love your daughter. That was the answer I was looking for. Jack, as a discerning man, a critical thinker, myself and a loving father, I'm very comfortable that you are the good man for Lauren. Wow. I probably welcome you into the inner circle of love. I proudly welcome you into the inner circle of love, which is family. I have no matter of advice for you, you know. I know that's a relief to everyone. Uh, <laughs> I have just a few words of general advice from some older and wiser sages. Lauren, they say a woman marries a man hoping she will be able to change him. The wise woman should know that the only time a woman truly changes a man <laughs> is when that woman is his child. Change quote is a man enters marriage hoping his wife will never change. This has to on your wedding day. Lauren is the kindest, most gentle. Lauren is the most gentle kind-hearted woman you will ever meet. Anyone who knows her would be happy to tell you about her infectious, positive attitude and outlook on life. I have learned so much from her about what it means to be truly happy. She would do anything for her family and friends who, like mine, are a good and tightly knit group. Lo has a limitless energy, allows her to be there for those she cares about no matter what, and we are so lucky to have her in our lives. <laughs> Another word of advice, Jack. A man who gives in when he is wrong is a wise man. A woman who, a man who gives in when he's right is married. And lastly, women are meant to be loved. They are not meant to be understood. To both of you, Marriage is not about finding the person you can live with. It's about finding the person you cannot live with. <laughs> you cannot live without. <laughs> now the toast and I'm done. I wish everyone could raise their glasses. I wish you a long life together, blessed with good health, unlimited happiness, and above all, boundless love. May your love be modern enough to flourish and grow in these changing times, and yet old-fashioned enough to last forever.